Hello, and welcome to the Chronicles of a Dreamworker, a podcast dedicated to exploring and sharing the stories of what happens on the other side when we close our eyes. I'm your host and creator, Katie Thompson. I'm a lifelong intuitive and creative storyteller. I'm a multidisciplinary artist, mother, wife, and survivor. I'm also a dream worker. On this episode, I'd like to talk about nurturance in dream work and the healing relationship you can build with what I call the eternal mother or the divine feminine. As we touched upon in the last episode, science is showing that dream work can be healing, especially for those suffering from the residual effects of trauma. I wanted to speak on this topic today as I personally have found a tremendous amount of healing in embracing dream work, specifically surrounding nurturance, trauma, and my relationship with spirit. Now, none of us get through life unscathed, right? I've always laughed at the joke that none of us get out alive because, well, my sense of humor is a bit dark at times, but it's true. We all go through hard things at some point, some of us more than others, some of us way more than others. But one common thread in all of our experiences is our deservingness of peace and healing. Life is incredibly unfair. I know that's an understatement, but again, it's true. However, through engaging in dream work, not only have I been able to bring understanding to my own feelings, reactions, and experiences, but it's helped me understand others and even resolve some personal issues I've had. When we are lucid dreaming, we have much more control of the outcome of our dreams than we normally do. And that's how scientists are suggesting that we rewrite the traumas in our lives to help us heal. But one thing about dream work is that it is just like reality in that there will be a resulting reaction from whatever change you put in motion. We cannot control everything regardless of the realm. Instead of letting that knowledge intimidate you, though, I invite you to empower yourself in the new possibilities that your choices present. Through dream work, I've been able to have much needed conversations with others or myself, and sometimes seated, truthfully, but it's given me not only the ability to hash out what I needed to within my dreams, it's also helped me see other people and perspectives in a new light. Now, dream work won't magically solve all of your problems, and in fact, you still may not like all that you see. But if you're able to achieve some understanding of a situation that you hadn't seen before, that can still make a huge impact on your life. And to better understand yourself or achieve peace or forgiveness in a situation that had previously troubled you, well, you are absolutely worth the dream work. Across history, different religions and cultures have viewed the divine feminine with great veneration. It is the nutrient-rich soil that enriches the seeds of life. In modern society, we spend a lot of time distancing ourselves from nurturance. If not of the family, then of the self. The self-care movement exists because we live as such that we neglect to take care of ourselves. Regardless, we still grow from that beautiful combination supplied by the divine feminine's nurturance, whether we recognize it or not. We eventually bloom, are admired and adored, then carefully selected and transplanted into a new soil or vase of our own. But wherever we go, we still need that nurturance, even if we're in a new pot, even if we're in a new city or a new stage of life. No matter how strong or weak we may feel in that moment, dream work allows us to access that soil, that nurturance, any time we need it. Instead of sharing a dream narrative this time, I'll be glad to share my experience of how I discovered a way to connect with that nurturance, the eternal mother. And it actually begins here in my waking life. It begins in my solitude, both chosen and not. Despite years of practice, prayer, and dreams, I still felt so disconnected from spirit in ways where I knew I needed healing the most. I've always adored strong feminine souls, 
there is little more that's awe-inspiring to me than the grace of a woman knowing personally part of what she's had to wake up to that morning. All women. Women who refuse to be anything but themselves because they have no other choice. Despite seeing her within my own reflection, there have been many times she was hard for me to find. She might like a good snack break. I mean, she is me, so who could blame her? But despite how lost I may have felt in that moment, I know that she is always there. One day I woke up to see yet another elder female creator I admire succeed with such humble joy. And it moved me to tears. I decided to ask myself, what is moving me so? What makes me feel so inspired by these incredible women? What is it specifically? And I realized that in every stranger's smile, in the success of one of my heroines, in the compassion of the nurses who have cared for and carried me throughout my life, these women were close to spirit. And in doing that work, they revealed their true divine selves as well. It was an overwhelming realization to know that the universe had been nurturing me with every Hail Mary, every act of understanding and grace that I've been given by so many women over the years. I've never been alone. We are never alone. When we do feel alone, that's actually when the eternal mother is with us the most. She helps us get through regardless. Her love is infinite and unconditional. She will give it to us and so much more if we allow ourselves to receive it. A simple place to start is when the next time you go to fall asleep, ask your angels and guides to help you receive the healing that you need from the divine feminine. Ask for protection and guidance and give thanks. In the morning, write down any dreams or feelings you remember having. It may not always be obvious or your memories may be sparse, but a feeling alone will tell you so much information as well. That concludes this episode of Chronicles of a Dream Worker. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear from you and hear more about your experiences. So drop me a message at dreamworkerchronicles at gmail.com. Be sure to like and subscribe if you're catching this on YouTube. And be sure to follow along on your favorite podcast platform. Wishing you sweet dreams. Chronicles of a Dreamworker is a Black Swamp production.